Hey there folks, welcome to Lighting Position Creating and Setup Part 1. In this video we're going to get about halfway through the process of getting this done. So the first thing we're going to do is do just a, a couple, uh, actually just a single housekeeping thing. We're going to check out our layers, make sure they are there and ready to go. So I'm going to come up here and we're going to click on our Show Organization dialog box. And we're going to look at our layers. So I have video here, and that is my that is my title. So I'm going to I'm going to hide that. And then, it, it, as you see here, we have lighting, lighting positions, borders, like scenery, house, and border and title block. And those are right now the the layers that we're going to need and use for our light plot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my lighting position. And as you can see, I have my scenery grayed out so I can see it and snap to it. I just can't adjust it. So I think we're all set to go. Click OK. And it, I need to make that title go away. And I know what I did. Uh, we also need to, let's see, OK, it did go away. I just had to think about it just a little bit. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create, we have four electrics on stage, electrics on stage, and we're going to, I'm going to show you the process how to create a lighting position, and it's the same for everything that we're going to do. So our on stage electrics are going to be 28 feet long. So we're going to start off, and I'm going to draw a rectangle that's 28 feet by one and a half inches. And you may say, Pat, why are you drawing a rectangle? Why aren't you drawing a, a tube or something like that? Uh, well, the reason why I'm doing that is it takes way less processing power to um, draw a rectangle and to render a, a an extruded rectangle than it does something with smooth edges and a circle or a sphere or something like that. So we have our we have our rectangle. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy it. So I'm going to click uh, Control C, Command C on a Mac. And what we want to do is we want to come up and we want to paste in place. I want to paste this new uh, rectangle right on top of the old one. So if I select it, you're going to see up in the Object Info Palette two rectangles. So I'm going to deselect it and select one. Yes, I would love to save. And what we're going to do is we're going to extrude this rectangle to an inch and a half. So we're going to come up here to model, extrude. A, it's already set at an inch and a half. We're going to select OK. Now I have an extrude. Okay, so we have a rectangle and extrude. The next thing I'm going to do is select both. It should say two objects. It does. So the next thing we are going to do is we're going to group them, which is Control C, Command, I'm sorry, Control G, Command G. I'm going to hit Command G, and now we have a group. The next thing we need to do is we need to turn this into a symbol. Okay, so we have it selected. We're going to come up to Modify, and we're going to click Create Symbol. And I'm going to call this up, at, up on the top, On Stage Electric. We're going to click OK. We can leave everything else the way it is. Okay, it's already in use. All right, must have been from something else. So we're going to do uh, on stage. Uh, Vectorworks does this sometimes. We're just going to call it on stage black. Okay, and it, where do we want to stick it? We want to put it right in the same folder as everything else. So it, it's working on it. It's going to come back in a second or two. And here is our our symbol of our onstage electric. Um, and through the magic of modern technology, I have created a couple more symbols. Uh, I have uh, a symbol for our front of house position number two, and I've created a symbol for our front of house position number three. Our onstage electric, we will use that same that same symbol for our front of house uh, position number one. So another thing that I have here is I have these helper lines just to kind of help me where these where these positions line up. So 
the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to create we're going to turn these into hanging positions. So I'm going to select our first first on stage electric. I'm going to select it. Oh, let's see, deselect that one, select it, and we're going to come up to spotlight. Okay, and lighting and create hanging position, convert to hanging position. So all it's going to ask us is what do we want to call it? And we're going to call this ELEC1. And that's pretty, pretty big. Uh, so we're going to come up and we're going to change our font to like, let's say 20. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to change this to a front of house. So we are going to select it, spotlight, lighting, convert to hanging position, and we are going to call this FOH2. Okay, name exists. All right, well played spotlight, well played vector, so we're going to do FOH number two. There we go. And it's going to uh, make it really big. We're going to come back, we're going to change our font. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change our default font from 144 to 20. Now we're going to come back and do one more. We're going to change this to front of house position number three. So we're going to select it. And we are going to go to spotlight and lighting and convert to hanging position. And we are going to call that FOH number three. So now we have everything ready to go. We're going to stop. This is the end of part one. We've created our hanging positions. We've turned them into symbols. And now we just got done converting them into uh, hanging positions that Vectorworks can use and see to help us with our lighting design. See you back soon.